Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jake Saint Nico. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're back with yet another skill that we actually all know and love on this channel, Enchanting. We hit 5,000 subscribers actually kind of a while back, but I wanted to mention it in a video since it's an insane milestone and I don't want to ignore it. We're growing at an insane rate, so if you haven't already, then join the hive, become a member of this awesome community. It's basically just one click. Don't forget to like as well, obviously only if you enjoy what you see, but for now, let's get into Enchanting. Just like with the other episodes, I have a special guest with me today. Ice Blades, as you probably already read from the title, is going to join us today and give us a little bit of an insight on the enchanting skill as I myself don't actually own a level 50 skill yet. So if you want to hear him out then make sure to stick around till the end. The enchanting skill is very different than combat and foraging for example since it's not a skill you just simply grind for in a set way. There are only a few methods of actually grinding for the enchanting skill but all of these methods are very different to other skills. You can't get enchanting XP from minions directly and the methods you're using are very unique in their way of actually achieving the XP. Before we get into how to grind for an enchanting skill though, let's first stop talk about what you want to prepare before you actually get started. And since I got asked to talk a little bit about the actual costs of the requirements as well, here's my take on that. Pets? There is only the guardian pet, but it's fairly simple to obtain and the rarity you would want to get is at least epic to get the best boost out of it. Which, as of recording this, costs around 1.2 million coins. Talisman. The experience artifact is probably the most important constant as it increases the experience you gain from these tiny little orbs you pick up and the price sits around 500,000 coins. Armor wise, you don't necessarily need anything special, just in case you're using my method though, you'd probably want to get your hands on a lapis armor, which cost wise, I would just farm it myself. Potions. There actually is only the enchanting XP boost that would allow you to directly increase the XP gain, but for a passive boost, also not really necessary in every scenario, you could also try to get your hands on experience potions brewed by the vikings tier. And lastly, since the mayor update just released a couple of days ago, an obvious preparation that I will actually have to include from now on in every one of these videos is the cookie buff, as you gain 20% more XP whilst you're on it, and I will also recommend to wait for the magic XP boost of 15%, which you will get if ever Barry wins the mayoral election. Okay, but now we're prepared, so how do we start grinding? The enchanting XP is very simple, yet very different from other skill, and the first method is Grand Experience Bottles. Here the method is very similar to Alchemy, as you basically only need a lot of money. In this case, it's with my gear at least, and the current prices for the bottles, around 140 million coins. Then you just simply start the grind. The grind in this case consists of buying a tons of Grand Experience Bottles and enchanting books at the exact level you gain by splashing one single bottle. This obviously depends on a lot of factors, for example your enchanting level as well, but basically just means that the bookshelf surrounding your enchantment table will have to be altered here and there. But other than that, it's just simply splashing experience bottles to then enchant the book. And time-wise, if you're really fast and if you're really pushing it, you can probably get it done in around 20 hours of grinding, which doesn't really include the time crafting experience bottles, nor does it buying or selling books, but I'm not gonna include these in any other methods anyways. But for the insane cost that it comes with, it's at least like one of the faster skills to grind for. Free enchanting level 50. Here's the method that I showed off a couple of weeks ago, which is yet another method to grind for the enchanting skill, and it's actually absolutely free. Not only that, since I haven't mentioned it in the video, if you use a diamond pickaxe, which I now, after playing a lot around on stream, would recommend instead of the stonk, you also gain a ton of money with diamonds, and not only that, you even level your rock pets rarity as you progress with the milestones a lot. But if you want to learn more about that, just simply click the button right up there in the corner, and summarized, you get around 300,000 XP per hour. And lastly, ultimate enchantments. I personally dislike methods that are dependent on prices and multiple other factors because it makes them kind of inconsistent. It is a viable method though, and therefore, here's what you want to do if you use ultimate enchantments. You would want to buy ultimate enchantments, like for example ultimate wise box, to then combine them with ground experience bottles that you bought, and then sell these ultimate enchantments, which even gives back money afterwards. Ultimate enchantments give a lot of enchanting XP since they cost a lot of experience to even combine them. And since, like I said, you can sell them afterwards, on the auction house, this is exactly why this method is able to work as well. Alright, those were the best methods to actually grind the skill, so let's just jump into the best parts of these videos. An exclusive interview with Ice Blades himself. Alright, then I, 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 guess, I guess welcome to the interview. Hi there, what's up? How, how have you been holding up? You know, been managing. <laughs> Congratulations on the 30k. I have to I have to say that on here as well. Very, very well done. Very well deserved. Thank you, thank you. I hope it doesn't take like as long as with like Max's red rank. Have you applied uh, already? Uh, I did. Uh, Max had like an issue where they like 
put him under the wrong thing or something. And also, he's trying to get inhumanly as well. So oh. it's definitely going to oh, take yeah, longer yeah, than normal for him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, true. Because they're like two people. And, yeah, with Faribo and whatnot. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, they took like a week from their application. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I meant. I hope it doesn't take as long as with you. Like, that's kind of not what you want to expect, right? Yeah, we'll have to see. All right, all right. Well, then let's get into enchanting. Uh, first up, uh, when did you hit fin uh, like enchanting 50? Uh, I can't even remember the date, actually. It was like, eh, it might have been April or May, give or take. It was definitely so before a couple of Dungeons months back. came out. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. And how did you meet it? Like, how did you get there? Like, did you use some kind of grinding method or just pay, pay, pay? I definitely the pay, 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 considering it was the... At the time, there was a new method come up for leveling pets, which was enchanting as well. So a lot of people were doing enchanting. True. But Dungeons was also on the horizon and Toxin Mage build, so people wanted the extra intelligence stat. And it was not too expensive of a skill. It was definitely less than 200 mil to get level 50 at the time. So, and then the price kind of just like went up. Did you stream it, or did you just like on offline just sit there hours upon hours and oh no, I streamed the like a lot balls. of it. I definitely did some offline too, but definitely made my viewers suffer with me. <laughs> definitely the better. <laughs> right, fair enough. I mean, I get. I, I mean, everybody has to go through that at some point, at least. And and I guess seeing it as I don't know, it, it's it's good probably for like the the viewer interaction, right? Like you probably had a lot of time talking to your viewers, at least. Uh, I just do it as much as normal, so it's not really, it's more all right, like, all right, you get like enough. a pattern doing it. You get like the I, I, I guess mice, true. mouse movements where you're just so accurate. It's, it's just oh fun. yeah, true. Cause cause I ha I've I i have not really done this interaction like too much. Obviously I've tried it out and I, I did it for like the numbers and whatnot for the video. But first up I don't have like I, I calculated it last like week I think and it was like around a hundred and thirty million. I, I don't know. How much did you actually spend? Uh I don't know, probably somewhere between that and two hundred mil. But there's also some right, notes. Right. Because back yeah. then they uh, they patched, you could shift books, stacks of books, into the menu without breaking oh. it. So that made it, it a lot faster since you didn't have to keep doing a Wait, one book Wait, and, and if you enchant, it just pops it out of there? It doesn't pop it out of there, but you could shift like a stack in and only put one oh. book in. And so, but before when you do that, it wouldn't, wouldn't be able to do that. I oh, think. so you had to literally click every single book in there? Oh, now yeah. you can, and barely are you kidding? Oh, okay, okay. So you had to do oh, yeah, one okay. extra Holy action, cow. and over an hour that, like, you know, lots of XP Wait, that must goes have... to waste. So could you right-click, like, with one, like, put it one in there? Or was it, like, literally you had one freaking book in your inventory, and you had to click that in there? Honestly, I don't even remember. It was so painful. All I remember <laughs> is lots of just it... moving the book over. Oh, yeah, it sounds no, like it. was it... literally... You set your inventory up with stacks of two books, and you'd right click and drag the book in. Oh my god! Okay, that sounds painful. And that's how a lot of Holy people cow. got fifty was doing that. I mean, and, not gonna lie, that makes it like, yeah, so much harder. What and the that's hell? That's why Max made this, like an enchanting contraption and other stuff like that, where they just probably like, spit you books and stuff. True. Oh, okay. I get that now. Cause, oh yeah. Cause obviously I, I only did it with like the shift clicking, like a stack in there, and and it just takes one out, right? That that makes it so much easier. And then you just exit, and it it puts it into your pickup stash. And I guess that wasn't a thing either back then, right? Oh uh, no. It's I mean, not. it doesn't. I mean, it's not too much money, anyways, right? Like, does that matter too much? The mo like the money? No, right? The, the books money? doesn't like. I mean, if you're really strapped for cash, I mean, sure, you can get some nice enchants in there, but. I yeah, honestly, yeah. you wouldn't really do that if you don't have money, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's not the point. I mean, spending like, 140 get, like, a mil. blessing in chat book, maybe. I don't know. I can't even get blessing right, at right. that point. I, I don't know. I don't keep the book, so I, I got no idea. All right, all right. So, um, I don't know. We, we talked about it earlier. Uh, I found a method where you basically get it for free. But I, something I haven't told you, it takes 200 hours. It's basically mining ore and then taking that experience to the enchanting table. Obviously, you have like way more interactions in there than just splashing. Uh, what do you think about that? It's it's just a like, or or better question. If you if you would have to do it again and you're not rich, uh, like would you actually go through that grind or, or do you think that's just, just save up the money and, and get there with like 140 mil and just get it done? 
Well, when you first brought it up, I thought of the ultimate enchant from dungeons. I'm trying to remember the name right now. Uh, yeah, yeah, I remember that as well. I also mentioned that in the video. Yeah. Like, so basically combining th them, right? I and think then... that might be better than the mining one. I'm not sure, but oh, it's no pain. Fair no enough. Gain, fair I'm enough. Sure. You know, yeah, I think like, it was no pain, no gain. Yeah, where or could, ultimate wise, where you could no, it's no pain, no gain. Where you can set up yourself like a little water pool, maybe have like mobs hit you or something. I, I don't know. Oh no, I I have to admit, like uh, as stupid as it sounds, I tried that out in my video, and it was so slow because because the the um the mob hitting you was kind of limited. Not gonna lie, you have like this limit of how many mobs can hit you. Like I I had I don't know like three minions, and then like with ten it was literally the same. Because I had, I think, spiders, like cave spiders, because they have poison as well. And that kind of counts as a hit as well. And it was kind of limited to some point. And I reached a lot, but it also doesn't stack upon, like, I have an entire set full of No Pain No Gain 5. And it cost me, like, I don't know, 10 mil back then. And it doesn't stack, at, uh, like, at least it sounds like that. Or at least people tell me that it doesn't stack. I don't know, but if people do want to get it for free, I mean, it's definitely something they can do. But, I mean... It's not too important you, of a skill to get leveled, so it's not yeah. in the world. And I think you're better off putting 200 hours in something like foraging or your combat skill, okay, okay. since those are something yeah. that actually matter. Yeah, I mean, true. So, so you, viable. if like, if you would have to do it all over again, you would still just farm for the money and, and like rush it down with like the money itself, rather than just I don't know, grind it for free, but like take up hours upon hours. Yeah, unless, like, you're literally doing some, like, Iron Man challenge or something, I don't see a reason why you okay. wouldn't want to just pay. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, it makes Since sense. Yeah, true. E even with, like, a lot less coins, you could pick yourself up, like, level 40, which is still, like, quite a ways off 50, but it's only about, true. like, 20 intelligence difference. For the skill average, right? Yeah, but, I mean, skill average doesn't really do anything yet. Maybe one day it'll, like, matter. Maybe, like, I don't know, there'll be, like, guilds or something, like... Yeah, exactly. Like yeah, the RuneScape, guilds. Yeah. If you ever played RuneScape. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I have started it. It's not that I'm like fully into RuneScape, but a friend of mine kind of got me into that. I don't know. It was actually like two years ago, or whatever. But yeah, I, I get that. I get that. I mean, right now there's actually guilds that are like looking out for like skill, like uh, what's it called, averages. But yeah, I, I guess it's not too big of a deal if you if you don't care about it. But okay, I, I get that. All right, so we have like these three categories and, and you you are uh, like I would love for you to vote like how or like rate them in like a star system. One star is really bad and five stars is really good. Um, let's start out with difficulty. Like how difficult was this method, including like preparation and difficulty in like the how, how do you say that? Basically, how difficult was it for you to maintain basically keeping focus on that one simple task? Even though it's like simple, it's so repetitive, right? I mean, it's pretty mundane, but once you get a pattern down, it's not too bad. There's also the fact that it gives you the second most XP per hour, I believe. Like, oh. multiple million XP an hour, so... Mm -hmm. What should... what would be the, the most? Alchemy, oh, maybe? Yeah, Alchemy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because you can literally okay, just like preset it up and just you can get like infinite XP per hour technically, but Okay, yeah, true, true. I mean yeah, but you'd have to kind of prepare yeah, yeah, yeah I guess that. super prepared, but Alright, and, and, and how much would you rate it? Mm, I don't know, I'd give it like a three, but I mean based on the XP gain I give like a five, but just how boring it is, but it, it is kind of fun once you get a pattern down here, you just like crank <laughs> out that, that XP, you know? All right. I mean, I mean, that's basically the second point here. Joy, like how enjoyable is it? Yeah, and like to do that, and even if it's if it's like struggling or whatever. But you had like I don't know. It's content for the stream. It's it's enjoyable probably to watch because you have a lot to talk about whilst you do that. Mm -hmm. Like how enjoyable was it? One to five. I mean, I'd give it a two because I like alt tabbing and you know checking other stuff and. Can't really, okay. Can't really do that when uh you know. So okay, okay. So know. it's not that enjoyable. No, because like you're really gonna okay, pay attention because yeah. it's not something you do, you know, semi AFK. True. When you, you run down like a pumpkin farm or whatever, and you don't have to. Li okay, I get that. Yeah. Like, or do you mean something like that? You gotta give it full attention, or you're missing hundreds of k of XP. I see. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I I kind of yeah. Okay. Makes sense. True. Because it's really like important to have like 
these clicks really synced up like you have to click exactly where you have to click otherwise you you're basically missing out or what I, I get that okay okay and lastly time wise how much time did you spend compared to other skills especially the ones that you have level 50 like one to five do you think it's a fast skill or like like it, it sounds like an incredibly fast skill like oh, yeah. what i what i have like calculated myself was like around 20 hours like at least like minimum of 20 hours and probably more but 20 hours sounds like insanely fast for like an, a skill to max it out yeah it is really really quick as i said it is like the second fastest one so really mm -hmm. quick definitely like where you get the coin is definitely worth doing and just knocking it out especially with that skill average as you mentioned before okay so so how long do you do you know how long you took like hour wise mm. like it, like around roundabout no i probably like in their 20 30 40 hour range okay if i wasn't like super speeding it but yeah it might obviously not 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 something you would want to go for just the numbers suggest it, it it's possible in 20 hours that's like yeah nobody would do that though that's pretty insane okay so what would you rate it is it like a five even though it's it's like slower than than alchemy I'd give it like a four and a half i'd like to see better <laughs> methods for enchanting so just enchant books there's a lot, there's right, a lot they could do with that skill but like there's a lot of data a lot in this game but it's like a whole thing you talk about in oh yeah another video oh and the last last thing to mention actually because because it just came out the mayor elections i think there was like one guy wasn't it barry who who had like the 15 percent boost thingy the 15 percent oh, um, yeah, yeah. magic xp boost where you get like alchemy and, and enchanting yeah, yeah, yeah. i think that's also gonna be a big point to to look out for like oh, if yeah. you have the money if, he, if wait for if that guy wins, to be voted for you know, like some, yeah yeah if like he ever yeah, yeah that's that's a big point here yeah i mean yeah right now it doesn't look like he's ever gonna win. <laughs> All right, yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I mean, yeah, we'll we'll see. So if, if anyone like if ever Barry is gonna be the mayor for like enchanting itself, it would probably be the best one. Oh yeah. All right, cool. Well then, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much. Hey, it was thank a pleasure you for having me. <laughs> for everyone who hasn't checked him out yet, he's not only amazing in the enchanting skill, but much more so. Like. That's probably a big factor if you want to talk about that. Dungeons is probably one of like your bigger parts, right? I would say so. I mean, I just say new updates. I just kind of do whatever's new. Just... Yeah, so basically, if you want to stay up with what's happening like at the exact moment, like updates especially, then definitely check out his channel. He's amazing at not only like explaining them, but basically giving an all, like an all overview about them. So yeah, if you, if you haven't already, like check him out. That's really like... Click the link down below. He's already in the red name or like he's getting there by, by the time this video is out. Maybe he already got it. And yeah, say hi for me. All right. Well, then basically this sums up the video. <laughs> Yet again, thank you so much for joining. And I'll guess I'll see you in the next one, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool.